All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Have you ever printed something out and the colors just didn't look like what you expected? Have you ever been putting a model together in the slicer and what you printed out looked nothing like what you had done? Have you been wondering what the new filaments from Bamboo Lab look like, like sparkle, marble, and metal that are currently sold out? Well, sit back and relax because I'm going to cover all those bases today. Lem Dizzle Production. All right, so what we'll be going over today is building a cool little case like this for all of your filament swatches. So aside from filament, one of the things that I would really recommend is a good label maker. I'll leave a link in the description below for the label maker that I'm using today that does two uh, lines of printing there. So you can put the brand and what the color is. So if you need to order this filament in the future, you'll know which one it is. And you'll always know what the color of the filament that you're ordering is once you've made your swatches. So it also has some really good um, samples of all of all of the new colors from Bamboo Lab. So we'll be going over those as well. So let me get everything set up in the slicer and on the internet and I'll go over everything today. All right, so as you can see here, here is the swatch case. And as you can see, they even did cool little QR codes and everything on their labels. As you can see, here's the case with all of the swatches and everything in here. And it's really just two files. I didn't need any supports or anything there, nor did I need any supports for the swatch here. So let's set everything up in the slicer. All right, so here we are in the slicer and here's the box. I made it white in here so you could see it a little bit better, but I did print it in black. This is the orientation that I printed it in. And um, I didn't need any supports or anything like that. Um, so if you want to print it, if you print it this way, you don't need any supports. Everything worked just fine. And I'll go ahead and slice it so you can see how much filament it uses and everything like that and how much time. And it did take about three and a half hours. One thing to note, it says with magnets and it looks like through part of the print right here. You should be able to insert some magnets into there. So if you wanted, I didn't do that, but if you want to do that, you can do that. Pay attention to that. So that's how I slice that. So let me get the swatches ready. All right, so here's the swatch in there, and this is how I printed it. Make sure that you put the ridge side up whenever you set this down and not ridge side down. There is one flat part and then one part that has a ridge like this. So make sure you print that with that side up and print all of the different colors that you have. Make sure that you print out your label, match the colors. I put the label on the other side. You could put it on this side if you want it. It doesn't really matter. The other thing that you can do here is you can go in and once you've printed the swatch out, you can then come back in and kind of color match this to your monitor because not every monitor is the same. So even if you have the color code for this, you're not going to be able to change the, or you're not going to be able to be guaranteed that that color, even though you have the color code is the same color that you're seeing with your eyes. All right, so once you have a swatch printed out already and you want to color match it to your monitor, Go ahead and pull this up and get your swatch ready and put it up to your monitor. And we'll, let's say it's in this slot four right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this up. Remember to hit our save button. We'll call this one test, not teased, but test. And we'll hit okay. And what you can do is if you're working with the yellow, you can start here or a red or whatever it happens to be. You can work with whichever color that you want. This one happens to be a brown, so we'll kind of start with this brown. And what you can do is move this up and down and put your swatch right next to this little color right here. And you can move this up and down and really dial it in to, let's say, that's what the color of your swatch is. So you can really dial in that swatch to your monitor. So now what you see on your monitor is what you see when you print out. So that'll really help to when you're planning all of your prints out that what you see on your computer screen is what you're going to see whenever you're printing it out. 
So remember, if it's a blue color, you can get over here to this blue and you can really kind of start to dial it in. You can move this little thing over to whatever color if it's a purple and you can really dial that thing in. It's really neat to start with one of these colors here because then you just need to fine tune it a little bit from there. So I, that, I hope that helps you out. And now let's take a look at these bamboo filaments. All right, so here's some of the cool new filaments from Bamboo Lab. Here's just the basic. I'll show you the label right here. As you can see, it's two lines right there. And that's what the little swatches look like. So let's take a look at the marble. And I got to say, this one looks really cool. Really, really cool. It really does look like marble. So that's a really neat one. I'd recommend that one. Here's the PC in white. Prints at a really, really high temperature. I got two of the three metals. I couldn't get the green one. But the gold and the blue look really, really cool. They do have a cool shine to them, as you can see in the light there. They really have a cool shine to them. That's the big thing with the metal ones. They do have a cool shine to them. And then here's the sparkle. Okay. Now, as far as printing temperatures and everything, everything was the same. A few of these did have lower max volume um, deals, but otherwise they printed at the same speed as the normal bamboo filaments do, like this one. Other than the PC, obviously, prints at a much higher deal and on the high temperature plate. All right, so before you leave, I still have these two filaments that need to dry for 8 to 12 hours. And I don't really know what to print with them. So leave a comment below, a uh, link to a STL file or a printables file, Thingiverse, wherever it happens to be, of something cool that I can print with this high temperature uh, carbon fiber and this PLA uh, carbon fiber as well. So send me something cool to print with these and I'll make a video and print those. And I also order, I'll order the PLA Tough. That's the only one that I didn't have today as well. So I'll order that one up and uh, print with these and do another follow-up video with this. So give me some ideas on what I should print with these. Should I print some propellers for my drone um, and go fly it? Or something like that. Or, hey, I'm willing to try whatever. I got insurance on my drone, so let's do it. So let me know in the comments what you want to do. Other than that, have a great week, everybody. And I'll see you on the next video.